What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Wes. This is Kicks from Wes. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Come join the community. Be part of the family. Like always, we're welcome to have you. Welcome back to a new My Top 7 Sneakers of the Week. This is make number 38. Got some quick announcements before I hop into this new My Top 7 Sneakers of the Week. One, I want to talk about last night's game. Well, should I ask, are you tired of seeing uh, the Cavs in the finals every year? I know for me, kind of, and also I don't want to see Golden State. So hopefully tonight's game, Game 7, Golden State versus Houston, out in Houston, Houston can come through and pull out a W. But down in the comment section, let me know how you feel about last night's game, and let me know how you feel about tonight's game. Who do you think is going to come out on top for tonight? You already heard me say, I hope Houston pull out this W. Just a little different twist in the finals, you know. We already got the Cavs already in there. So if it could be a little bit of twists and a little bit of difference that we see, hopefully Houston can pull it through. So without further ado, let's get into my top seven sneakers of the week. Kicking things off for last Monday, I went ahead and pulled out one of these shoes that I haven't worn in a minute. And then I was just was like, hey, I want to wear this one here. And that is going to be the Nike SB chicken and waffles that's right such a dope shoe <clears throat> look at that sir dripping on him drip drip <laughs> nike chat dripped in sir as you can see on the print it's printed like waffles all throughout the shoe besides the sole got your brown nike sb tab on the front pull out the soles let y'all check them out if I could get this one out again it's kind of hard I can't but check this out keeping with the theme the chicken and waffles as you can see you see they got the the chicken in there printed like the waffles with the butter on it that's dope man that's dope so I wanted to pull these out, I wanted to wear these, and this was the shoe that I wore on Monday. Monday shoe. Heading over to Tuesday, I didn't wear this shoe in a while. It was more about comfort. Also, I had a lot of things going on. Um, recently, I had a real bad experience with my asthma. Had to go to the hospital behind it. I was going to put up a video about that, and I'm still thinking I might put that video up. I'm not sure, it's kind of a difficult subject for me talking about um, dealing with, you know, bad habits like smoking cigarettes. I smoke cigarettes, it's a bad habit, I know I'm trying to stop, but I'm contemplating whether or not I should show that footage of me being in the hospital and being vulnerable and, you know, thinking the worst, like it was a bad time. I never experienced nothing like that with my asthma, but I'm getting sidetracked and if I do decide to put a video out, that'll probably be later on this week here. And Tuesday's shoe is going to be the Adidas NMD R1. These are super soft, super comfortable. Um, yeah, man, I ain't wear these in a minute. And that's the reason why I pulled these out on Tuesday here. And this is going to be Tuesday shoe. As you can see, you got your your three stripes in black. You got your Adidas uh, heel tab in black. Your white stripe pull tab right there. This is just a basic simple colorway. Your Adidas logo on your front pull tab. And that's it, man. That's pretty much it on this shoe here. So that's Tuesday's shoe. Switching over to Wednesday, I was still, you know what I mean, contemplating like what shoe do I want to wear and shit like that there. But Wednesday's shoe is going to be Saucony and Feature Collab, man. These Belgian waffles. Now, yeah, that's right. Monday, I wore the chicken and waffles. Here we go on Wednesday. I got the Belgian waffles for $120. You cannot beat. The materials, the premiumness, premiumness on these shoes, man. On this shoe, they they ain't come out with um one in a minute. Hopefully, they come out with something soon. 
But yeah, man, let me break this shoe down for y'all. Check this out here. You got you got some leather here on, your, on uh, the three eyelets. That's leather. This is made out of suede. Check that out. You got some hard leather here. More suede there. Back and forth. Back and forth, as you can see. Nice um, stitching. That yellow stitching that goes all throughout the shoe. That's cool. This tongue here, front pull tab, this purple stripe here, lights up. Inside, look at that, that's made out of leather. It's nice and soft. You know, the whole inside of the shoe uh, got that leather lining. And you can see the waffle imprint inside with the feature uh, logo there. And yeah, man, these is very dope, very dope, very dope shoe, man. So I wanted to wear these, and I did, and that's Wednesday shoe. Thursday, I wanted to pull these out. It's all about history, and the shirt that I got on kind of matches, let me back up some, matches uh, them. Actually, this shirt does match, match these shoes that I want Thursday. Thursday shoe, man. <clears throat> history of flight. 13s got these for a crazy still super clean you know very clean shoe man very clean shoe got your red trims around your ankle area silver jump man on the front pull tab got that famous bubble two three hologram right there i still got the tag on um the little protection, well it's not protection, it's a little tag that they put on when um, they package the shoes. A little bit of tumbleness here in this area. Nice soft leather uh, toe box area. It did come with white laces. I just thought that was too plain Jane for me. Y'all know I like to be different. So got them black laces in there just to make the shoe stand out just a little bit. I mean it is an all white shoe with red trimming so you know even if some red laces had some red laces I would throw those in there as well that's a good idea <laughs> probably go pick those up Thursday shoe man this is Thursday shoe now for Friday I had to put out the OG man the OG's classic OG's classic man and hopefully next year these retro because this year holiday time gonna be mayhem these 11s boy these 11s everybody go crazy for 11s and without further ado friday bread 11s man these came out in 2012 i don't know why i got mind boggled for a second it's been a minute i ain't shoot a video but yeah 2012 Red 11s, still holding up good. Got some um some little creases here on your ankles, but that ain't nothing. Anybody know about shoes? You want you want a little creasing on them, unless you plan on selling them or trading them or whatever. Me, I ain't letting these go until they beat down to the ground. And as you can see, they ain't no time soon. They're in great condition, great condition. Yeah, man. Friday shoe. Saturday, comfort had a lot to do again, running around. <clears throat> Saturday shoe is going to be Air Max 270s in the Universal Gold colorway. Okay, somebody hitting my phone, but we'll look at that later. University Gold, pink big ass bubble on the back. Got your black logo there. Pink pull tab. Nike check logo on the front pull tab. Super comfortable, man. Super comfortable. If you're on a budget and you want a comfortable shoe, check these out, man. These are super comfortable and affordable, too. They're not that much. Last but not least, Sunday, first time making a countdown, I finally Put this shoe on my foot. It's finally un, I un-DS the shoe. Sneaker head terms. 
which I mean it is not DS no more. Sunday Shoe Man is going to be <clears throat> Vapor Max 2.0 in the Hot Punch colorway, man. Finally put these things on my feet. And when I was out, got a lot of compliments. Oh, those is dope. Very nice shoe. Especially with the t-shirt that I had on with it. The t-shirt could not have matched these better, man. For real. Y'all know how I am about uh, t-shirts matching my sneakers. Um, it's a pet peeve of mine. Look, I worked in the fashion world for four years. And so, being around high fashion people, working in New York City, you pick up a couple of things. And things that stuck with me is matching. You know, down to the T. Colors got to be precise, on point for me in order to wear the shoe. That's just how I do my shoe to t-shirt matching thing. It can't be close to it. It has to be exact. And I know that's kind of hard. And y'all probably like, for real? Exactly? Like, the exact colors? Like, that's kind of hard, Wes. And, and sometimes it is. And that's why sometimes it takes a very long time for me to wear a shoe because I'm very particular about how the shirt matches the shoe. The color has to be exactly on point. It's just my eye sees something different than what other people see, you know. And But Sunday, man, I was able to pull these out and wear these things. Yep. So that's going to be it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this My Top 7 Sneakers of the Week. Come check me back next Monday for another new My Top 7 Sneakers of the Week. See if I pull out another shoe that I haven't worn in a minute because I do have a couple of shirts that came in that do match some shoes that I haven't worn in a minute. And I'm going to try to wear a couple of those this week here. Also, look out later on this weekend. I'm going to be hitting up the outlet. I haven't did an outlet vlog in a minute. Let's go to the outlet see what they got, man. I know Memorial Day weekend is over with. Today is Memorial Day, so shout out to all the veterans who are out there serve. We thank you for putting your life on the line and leaving your families at home and going over in these foreign countries and not knowing, not knowing a language, but learning a language to be able to have freedom for us so we could be free and be safe and you know all that. But thank you guys for watching. If you ain't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, man. Come join Kicks from West, be part of the crew. Hit that bell notification so you can be notified when I post videos. And until the next video, man, everybody stay fresh and stay blessed. It's your boy Wes, and I'm out. Peace.